Welcome friends. In this knowledge sharing video, I will tell you about the seven key software testing principles that everybody who is in IT must know about, irrespective whether you are into development or testing. I am going to explain you each principle in detail. So let's proceed. The first principle is testing shows the presence of bugs or defects. Okay. Testing can show the defects are present but cannot prove that there are no defects in software being tested. Testing reduces the probability of undiscovered defects remaining in the software. But even if no defects are found, it is not a proof of correctness. Okay. Second principle says exhaustive testing is impossible. Okay. Testing everything means all combinations of inputs and preconditions and output is not feasible except for the trivial cases. Instead of exhaustive testing, risk analysis and prioritize should be used to focus on testing efforts. Third principle talks about the early testing. Now, the, what is early testing? To find defects early, te testing activities should be started as early as possible in the software development life cycle. It also reduces the cost of the defects that we found out in the later stage of time. And we should focus on the defined objective while doing the testing. Testing principle four is about the defect clustering. Testing effort should be focused proportionally to the expected and later observed defect density of the modules. A small number of modules usually contains most of the defects discovered during pre-release testing or is responsible for most of the operational failure. So like if a module is there and you have been finding a lot of defects in there, that is called a defect clustering. Okay. Let's move on to uh, testing principle 5 that is about the pesticide paradox. Okay. Now, if the same set of test cases we repeat over and over again, eventually the same set of test cases will no longer find any new defect in the software. To overcome this pesticide paradox, test cases need to be regularly reviewed and revised and the new and the different test cases should be returned to exercise different parts of the software or the system to find the potential more defects. Testing principle 7 is about saying that the text, uh, testing is context dependent. Okay, Testing is done differently for the different context. For example, the safety critical software test system is tested differently from the e-commerce site. The same way, retirement system will be tested different than the capital market domain application. So it's all like, you know, which application you'll be testing and which application is being tested for which domain. So that is also a matter when you perform a testing for the software. The last principle says about the absence of error fallacy. Okay. Finding and fixing the defect does not help if the system belt is unusable and does not fulfill the user's needs and expectations. Okay, even if you are finding the defects in the system and you are also fixing the system, but at the same time, but overall the system is not useful or overall the system is not meeting the customer expectation that does not fulfill the criteria of the customer satisfaction. So that is called absence of error fallacy. Okay. So this completes this tutorial, short tutorial of testing. Thank you for watching the video. If you find this video useful, please click on the like button and do share it to your friends. You would also like to subscribe to my channel or visit my website whose URL is flashing on the top of this video for getting latest updates. Once again, thank you.